Hi all you cool cats and kittens. In this video, we're gonna talk about dashes, hyphens, and some narrative writing, where I want you to use the dashes and hyphens in. <clears throat> It'll review also some of the elements of plots that I talked about in the video I made a few days ago. So, hyphen is gonna join two or more words together, and a dash separates words into parenthetical statements. So basically a dash, you can use it on either side in place of parentheses, and a hyphen you kind of use in a similar way you would like make compound words. <clears throat> Here are some examples. Hyphen would be one way, home cooked, mother-in-law. A hyphen is generally shorter than a dash. So when you're typing this up, I made a video showing you how to make your Google Docs type it up. But a lot of times what I do is I put two hyphens in place of a dash. A dash, Daniel, dash, in all fairness, dash, had no choice but to become Mrs. Doubtfire. Just to plug here, this is a good movie. As your for your free time, watch Mrs. Doubtfire. I think it's a pretty good movie. It's old, but yeah. Um, Daniel, so you could basically, a dash can be used in a situation where you have something that you don't need in the sentence. Daniel had no choice but to become Mrs. Doubtfire. The sentence still works if I don't read that part. It makes sense, it's a complete sentence. But the dash can go in there just to add in like a parenthetical explanation to make your sentence a little clearer or just better. So try and use those in your writing this week. So the writing is to write a personal narrative about a time when you did something you didn't think you could do. End your narrative by telling what you learned about yourself along the way. So with me, what I thought about was there's a lot of things I, I, I didn't think I could do. And I thought back to when I was um, first started, say, coaching soccer. I'd never played organized soccer or anything. And... I didn't think I could do it, but I, I knew I could, and I thought it was a deeper lesson. It goes back to when I learned how to make these videos in terms of recording and reflecting, and I thought about a story there. So, um, and the lesson I learned was that you can you can basically learn anything on the internet, um, especially with YouTube. So, elements of plot. If I were talking about this, the exposition, I would be the main character, and... Um, this guy named Lodge McCannon, Dr. McCannon, would probably be another character who kind of taught me how to create these videos and the whole idea of recording, reflecting, and that you can use the internet and YouTube to find videos and instruction on anything you want to learn. So I kind of, the conflict was that I didn't think I could, you know, learn certain things like coaching soccer. And I learned that, you know, you can, you know, if you look at videos and you do it and then you reflect on it and the record, the reflection on your actions and watching experts do it and then watching yourself do it and eventually I realized like yeah I, I can and I did coach soccer and a lot of the people that I coach soccer the parents they thought I did a great job and the kids on the team enjoyed it and I still have relationships with those people today so I was able to successfully coach soccer and my kids did that and I just watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to do it um so the fall in action, but that I successfully did it. It was a good time. And like the resolution is really just that I realized, you know, I can pretty much do anything. I just need to kind of research it on the internet. So that's not my whole narrative. I would have to kind of flesh that out, add in some dialogue, things that might've been said and mix it together better. Maybe, maybe bend the truth and be a little inaccurate at times, but that's generally where I would be at. Um, so your job is to write a narrative, use hyphens, dashes, Make sure you do things like dialogue and include the different elements of plot.